So, uh, Todd, how have things been at Extreme Couture? Because you've been there for a while now, and you, I know you've been really immersed with the team and uh, you know, working with everyone. How's that been? Great. Uh, Ray's got a bunch of incredible... Incredible heavyweights, some great light heavyweights over there. Uh, it's a great group of guys, man. You couldn't ask for more. Eric's done a good job of turning that gym into a really incredible team. Back when I was there 10 years ago, it was a, it was like a, it was like a, a group of mercenaries. You know, now it's a group, of, it's a group of teammates. It's amazing. And Misha Serkinov's on this card. Do you work with him a lot? Just yeah, a Misha's a, Misha's a great. I yeah. love it. He's, I mean, he's a big guy. Like, yeah. don't let him kid yourself. He's, he's a very big physical guy. I know he's a 205er, but I mean, that dude's. He's a beast. He told us yesterday this is virtual reality stuff for visualization. Are you into that at all? Or has he told you about that? Uh, I'm not into virtual reality yet. It sounds like a cost I'm not really interested in taking on, but I just use my mind. <laughs> it's funny when you came in here, you're saying, oh, this is a good format. We don't really hear fighters talking about the best way to use the media time and stuff like that. When did you think you came aware of the issues we're having as the media? Well, issues you guys have trouble expressing like you guys just crash fighters sadly there's always a hit piece on something like I don't, I don't know I, that's not like this is not a necessarily an issue i just don't know if you're going to get the same this looks like i already won guys <laughs> you guys don't build fighters up enough at all you just don't i'm sorry i'm not talking to anybody directly i just seen it throughout my career this is the most prestigious sport in the world, guys. That's why you guys are into it. This is the most difficult sport in the world. This is not football. This is not NASCAR. I don't have a teammate that walks in there with me to go live and die that day. And you guys don't respect it enough, honestly, sometimes. Sorry. And if you're taking it personal, it's probably you. So. <laughs> is, is there a piece that stood out like, for yourself? Is there somebody who went after you? You don't have to Oh, there's been tons of guys that go after me. I'm, a, I'm an easy target, though, right? Like, I've had a lot of hype. I'm a heavyweight. I'm exciting. I've had some high lows. You know, I've been here, I've been there. Um, I'm an easy target. Yeah, I've seen some of that, but to me it doesn't, doesn't necessarily, I don't care as much, but it's more of like the public perception that you guys have, that you're scoping. It's your job to scope and explore these storylines and explore what really goes on in that sport. And man, yeah, I don't know if you guys love it enough. I don't, I don't know. I, <laughs> I mean, we're out here getting brain damage and you guys are like, he sucks. It's like, does he? <laughs> He's fighting the best in the world. Everyone that's in the UFC is called the Ultimate Fighting Championships. Whether or not there's a belt on the line, the BMF belt, or whatever it may be, we're all champions. We all have risen to this level, and I think guys deserve more respect. I'm not talking about me. I've had a, a great experience with the media for the most part. Like, I've been pushed to the front. I've had incredible opportunities that maybe I didn't earn sometimes. That's fine, but there's other guys. There's Across the board, yeah, it's... It is what it is, though, right? I mean, that's up to you guys. I mean, how, how does that differ, though, from the NFL? Like, you, you always see reporters talk about this team's O-line isn't very good and uh, all, of, all of these kind of things. In the that's X's and O's. This is not X's and O's. This is fighting. It's a lot different. And I don't know that maybe you guys, some of you guys may not have the full understanding of martial arts. I don't know. It's a, it's a different, it's not a sport. It's fighting. Do you think it's our negativity? Because obviously we always talk about how the fans are very negative, especially yeah. on social media. Do you think it's our negativity that drives that, or do you think perhaps it's? Well, it's both. It's clickbait. It's clickbait. Whatever you can, you know. And I understand. I, I get it. Like we're this is a money-driven sport. I'm doing this for money. You're doing this for money. At the end of the day, like maybe our passions, but we got to eat. So I mean, it, it's not a personal attack necessarily. I just, I think Brendan Schaub is the one that said it recently. I saw on like a clip. It's just like you guys. There's this is. There's a, the, we've lost a little bit of the prestige of the pride era. Like, these guys were on a pedestal for a reason because they deserve to be there. And, like, it's not the same anymore now. we just like, oh, he loses, he's shit. It's like, well, what about the 21 fights before that? Or, like, however that may play out, I don't know. Like, it's just, uh, this is the, to me, this is the hardest sport. I can't imagine a more difficult task for a man or a woman, and I can't, this is the most prestigious sport there is, like, it, in my opinion, and it, it, it's not expressed enough. That's, that was kind of what my attack might have been. And I was just frustrated. I'd done like four interviews. I was tired. I was ready to go to bed. You know, I needed a nap. Without getting too deep into it, do you not think that maybe that's just a cultural shift in general in society? That people well, we, yeah, we're on the, we're, you're right. So the, the Western cultural shift of like, the, we love to build these stars and crush them. I, I understand that. But it's still up to you guys to keep the, I think, Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe it's our job. I don't know. I don't know how we do that as fighters. I don't think fighters really shit on each other so much unless they're just trying to get publicity to get a fight. Uh, and even then, after you watch them the moment they're done, they're like, oh, this guy's great. <laughs> so it's like, he pushed me to the limit. Um, but it's kind of irrelevant to me. You know, I, like, 
I just had a grumpy, I was grumpy and tired, I needed a nap. I went and took a nap afterwards. And <laughs> that you're, you're in Vancouver and you know, Canadians are known as being polite. And I love Canada. Yeah. No, no, I have tons of Canadian friends that are coming out to the fight. Yeah. Thanks, guys. Uh, I'm paying Canadian taxes this weekend. I'm a Canadian, yeah. uh, as far as I can tell. Um, you guys are getting as much as the U.S. It seems like, damn. <laughs> you guys are getting it. Um, but no, yeah, I love it up here. I, I think I, I, I'm a big fan of Canada. Have, like, you, have you gotten outside of Richmond and gone into Vancouver and seen some of the sites or anything? Uh, no, not yet, but I've, I've been in Canada. I've been in Toronto. I have, again, I have a pretty good friend base up in Canada. Like, I would say some of the majority of my friends. Is in particular up, up in Canada? I'm from a small town. I have values. Canadians have really good values, and okay. probably. And, and kind of on that note with the media, like, do you just not read any of the interviews, any of the things because of that, because you're just expecting a lot of negativity? Yeah, I don't really. Same thing with social media, you're kind of just not on that a lot just to... Kind of I mean, I play around on like Instagram, it's fun, I'm bored. Because yeah. uh, you get some of that too on social media with you know, a lot of negativity as well. Yeah, and that's again, it's like, again, you nailed it, it's a cultural thing. I'm not, again, I wasn't necessarily attacking, but it's like, there is a lack of prestige now within our sport. And we're on ESPN now, like we're, we've, we've, we've broke through in, in a sense, right? So now more than ever, we need that prestige built back up. It's like these guys are putting their lives on the line. Like, look at the older fighters. Look what's going on. I, I completely agree with you. But then, if you take ESPN, you've got people like Steve May Smith just shouting and screaming and putting everyone down. <clears throat> yeah, but everybody knows that about him because, like, that's his job. Is there any part of this about, you know, you mentioned. Does it make it okay? I agree. <laughs> you mentioned the money making industry. You know, uh, I think we're seeing a shift back towards sort of titles being given out on merit. But do you think the UFC has contributed to any of that with matchmaking, maybe not giving the number one contender the shot? I can't even get into that. I don't know enough about like how things are being played. I don't know who votes for the top ten. Uh, do you know? Uh, yes. And it's, you know how do they pick those people? How do they pick the judges right now? Like, I mean, again, how many of you guys are blue belt level in jiu-jitsu? How many of you guys are seeing a setup? And this is not a just. It's not like I'm a fan too, guys. So let me say like, but I'm just saying like the the, the we have such ways to go for education. There's things I still have to learn. You know, like, um, it's just going to take years, you know. But we're just at the beginning. But I, being at the beginning of this ESPN and, like, all this, I just feel like if anything that needs to get across to these fans is the prestige and, like, the reality of what's really going on, the truth of the sport, and, like, what's really, good, what's really being put on the line. And every fan respects that. I know that. That's why they're watching it, you know. Um, but again, it does have that pro wrestling feel, so. Uh, Todd, I actually want to pick up on a comment you made earlier, because you're not the first one to say this, that, that there's a difference between sport and fighting. Uh, what, you know, how do you make that difference? This is sport yeah. fighting. This is as close as we can get. Uh, but at the end of the day, in a sport, I'm trying to score a touchdown. I'm trying to score a basket. I'm trying to inflict as much pain on my opponent for him to either quit or physically not be able to continue. That's not a sport. That's a spectacle, maybe. That's a, uh, it's a fight. It's just flat out a fight with a couple rules to make it a gentleman's agreement to where the public can be like, oh yeah, it's a sport where we can get behind this brain damage. <laughs> <laughs> For all the, uh, the talk of the media stuff, I mean, you do have a fight coming up with Jeff Hughes. He got married last weekend. I mean, what are your thoughts on him as an opponent? I haven't thought much about him. I mean, I, I'm aware of his, uh, his skill set. I'm aware of his, uh, his legacy run. I'm aware of his UFC run. I've watched and seen him as an opponent. I don't, he's my opponent. That's my thoughts. <laughs> I'm going to go out there and fight. Did it feel like the same would maybe never come up all the time? You've been through the injuries, the money stuff, everything else. Did you ever consider walking away? Uh, I never considered walking away. I told Joe Silva, I said, Joe, uh, I'm going to be training every day. Uh, you can ask the promoter, pr the, uh, you can ask the uh, reporters and stuff that have been in the gym. I'm there. I've still been around the sport. I've not left. Um, it's just a matter of doing what I could do within my bubble. You know, that was, that's all. Um, there were concerns that maybe I wouldn't get back to the UFC, of course. This is, but this is where I want to be. I, this is the premiere of the sport, you know. Um, of course, I had all those fears, but uh, I didn't think that I would walk away from the sport. No, I love the sport. Like what I, inspires you to keep uh, pushing through and keep coming back? Addiction. <laughs> <laughs> it's a drug. I don't know. I, I mean, I, I, I spent a lot of time thinking about that at a period of time when I was Post fight, couldn't get anybody to really support the idea of me coming back for you know with the current situation I was under. Um, it's like, well, why do I want to do this so bad? And I, it's a drug, I guess. I don't. It's sad, sad as it. Like I don't know how else, but I do. I love it. I love martial arts. I love fighting. It's competition is it is purest though. Is is kind of a drug though in a sense. You know, it's addicting. How's the um, uh, UFC? Sorry, how's the UFC heavyweight division 
changed since you last worked? It's deeper. Mick's done a really good job. He's built it up. Um, they're signing guys as best they can. They're trying to build guys. Uh, they're taking that young talent and they're trying to, you know, they're trying to get them to where they can be successful and be that next premier heavyweight. Um, I think it's much deeper than people realize, but it's the heavyweight division, so there's a, uh, it's just a different sport almost. It's not a different sport, but it's just a, it's, it's a different style. You're going to get different, uh, it's a different type of fight. What do you suggest? I mean, if you were in our shoes right now and you were standing behind these cameras, what would you do that we don't do? I would build up the fighters. How so? I would never shit on a fighter. Anybody that walks out there and risks their life for your entertainment, because that's, that's what's going on, whether you want to you wanna, like, ignore the realities of it, I would be thankful to them. I would, you know, they're why, they're, it's, you're why I'm here, I'm why you're here, right? There's this mutual, like, I need you, you need me. Um, I'm not a reporter, I don't have that skill set, and I think there's a lot of really great reporters out there. There's nothing, again, the attack, I was grumpy, it's just like a frustration that I've seen. This is the most prestigious sport in the world, and it needs to be presented that way, and there's no other way to present it. Winners and losers, one thing's going to happen that night. One guy's going to win and one guy's going to lose, regardless of how skill level and not always the best guy wins and not always the best guy loses. Like, it's just, I just think it's a martial arts, it needs, there needs to be more of a martial arts take on it, more of a pure take on it maybe, um, less of a uh, clickbaity type of the situation. And again, I'm not really scouring the internet the way I was, but I still see just guys get just crapped on. I'm like, why? Why would you speak about, like, yeah, he lost a fight. Big deal, he lost a fight to another guy that's incredible. That's why we're watching the sport, because me and Jeff are fighting because you guys don't know who's going to win, right? That's why we're fighting. Yeah. You guys might think I'm better, you might think he's better, but at the end of the day, we don't know. That's why we got to go out there and do it. And it's, with other sports, it's a lot easier to bet on them, I'm sure. Tom, I don't know if you're aware of this, but uh, Ryan McDonald's a bantamweight fighter in the prelims, and uh, he said he got into MMA because he saw you and never backed down. Uh, what, what, do you, what do you make of that when you hear that? I mean, that, that's pretty incredible to see that you're the reason he's in MMA. Um, it's, a, it's, it's, it's really cool. Uh, it's weird that it's attached to a movie. You know, like you want to be, I want to be a martial artist. I want, you know, I want that feel. Mm -hmm. uh, it's amazing. I'm glad that he's, he's involved and he's doing He's living out his dream. I'm, I'm proud of him for taking the chances, and if it took a movie to do that, it's great. Uh, I'm sure Bloodsport didn't, didn't get me far from getting involved in this stuff either. So, uh, you know, I'm thankful that he appreciated that, you know, that, I guess. I don't know. Uh, I'm fumbling here. Help. No, but you're talking about, you know, positivity. I mean, that's, that's kind of a thing. Too. Yeah, that's like, awesome. You know, he saw you and he's like, yeah, that really made me want to I, I'm glad I had a positive. That's what I'm saying. I'm glad he's out here living his dream. I, I don't think I'm the full take on that. I think his coaches, his friends, his family are the, the real. He brought your name up in a nowhere. I'll just mention that. But yeah. yeah anyway, so that, well, that's awesome. Yeah. You said you are a fan of the sport. I mean, we got a pretty fantastic main event. A lot of people are calling it potential plan night fight here. Do you have a pick in that fight? I mean, I used to, I watched Gaethje train the first like walk in the gym. Um, I got you know, so he's got a special place in my heart. Cowboy has a special place in my heart. Um, no, I don't have a pick. I mean, Gaethje's going in there with Pink Eye. Like Jesus, what a guy! But I don't think Pink Eye phases that guy. Uh, but who knows? Um, I don't have a pick now. I don't like to make picks on fights, to be honest. Like, especially when they're two of my buddies. Are yeah. they kind of like fighters, fighters? Do you know what I mean? They're just the ones winning every single, every single time. Yeah, I mean, that, and that's those are the guys we got a pedestal. I mean, they're 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 up there for a reason. They're amazing fighters. Um, the loser doesn't lose tomorrow, Saturday night, in my opinion. Like, they just put on a great, entertaining show. You were talking about bringing the martial arts back into this new prestige. Is that something that's unique to this sport? Like, I mean, we have other combat sports like boxing and stuff, but is it because of where this sport's come from that we need to get that prestige back. I think so, yeah. I think so. And again, it's just, it's the reality of what we're doing. I just, I don't, I don't, I think you guys look at this like a video game sometimes, and it's not. Look at our older fighters, guys. Look what's going on. Why it's do not. You think, Go ahead. Why do you think that gets lost on people? Is it just kind it's of... It's not behind a camera lens. I put my phone up right now, all of a sudden I'm not here either. I'm watching you guys through my phone. It's pretty simple. I would think, I mean, it's easy to detach yourself. You don't want to attach yourself to it. The moment you do, then you have to, like, it's tough to, it's, I don't like to face reality every day. I'm like, oh, I'm into that. <laughs> you know? Do you think it would always be better? I mean, this is obviously never going to happen. It's not completely hypothetical, but is it always beneficial to have a friend who fights that you watch and you see the genuine consequences of it? Because that point about we look it through a lens and dissociate ourselves is, I think that's a really good point. But I've had friends who fight and stuff, and when you see it, and you're there, it changes you know, their, their perspective almost horrible. immediately. Yeah, I've seen some guys like, even my close friends, like they, you know, they went out to my fight, saw me lose, and they're like their whole perception of the sport changed. 
They're just like, oh, you're sick. They're like, I had no idea. It's like, yeah, this is, this is it. You don't enjoy it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, I guess I could help. But, I, I mean, again, it's just I didn't mean to be overly critical. Like, I don't think you guys have an easy job. I don't. Like, you guys have been a big part of why we're at the ESPN. I'm not, I don't know who, but, I mean, it's, you guys are pushing this sport. You guys are taking chances. You guys are investing in something that necessarily wasn't probably investing you in the beginning either. Like, I don't. It wasn't necessarily the attack. I, I just think that that pride era of prestige, that K1 era of prestige, is where we should have our sport, is where we should always have it in our mind, and we should build towards that. Or at some point, it's just going to be like backyard fighting again. Do oh. you see that happening? Huh? Do you see that happening? Do I see what happening? What did I just said? <laughs> Could it? Yeah. That's entirely up to the media and the UFC and the fans. I can't. I could see that, yeah, for sure. Um, what do you think people need to do more? Respect the fighters. Respect, like, the sacrifice. It's a... Uh, I just know people... It's a 24-7 job. Um, these guys are giving up their lives for this. Like, you'll see guys not having the best home life. You'll see guys not having a lot. Because just, just to make this entertainment for you. Um, I don't know. I mean, I, I, don't, I, I don't have an answer for you. I don't. I think we all, have, as, a, as a group, have, should, it should just be, a, it should be a, a common aim, I feel like, in a sense. You know, like, we all love the sport. If we want to keep it and get it the respect it deserves, we have to present it that way, maybe. Um, and that comes to the, it's, it's our responsibility to as the fighters, like, how we talk about one another, how we, and, but I, for the most part, I don't, I haven't seen too many fighters really be too, I mean, we're living it too, so it's a little different. Is it an oversaturation issue? I mean, there's 600 fighters as opposed to one pay-per-view a month. Yeah, there's only 600 fighters in the UFC. That's it. That's not many, is it? No, not really, but when you compare the prize, 600 guys. Like 60, there's only 600 guys in the UFC right now. <clears throat> Damn. That's hard to get there then, yeah, isn't it? that's the best. Those are the best guys, perceivably the best guys in all of the world, 600 of us. There's how many in the heavyweight division? No way, there's 80 or 60, maybe 40, 50. So there's 40 or 50 of us in the heavyweight division. That's wild. Like, damn, those guys are amazing then, right? Like, they're the best in the world. And I don't think it's an oversaturation issue. I think there's only 600 of us. That's not a lot. I mean, how many are there in the NFL? Those guys are gods. Those guys are gods. They play in the NFL, right? Like, look at the respect they get on the streets. They get more respect than anybody. Like, they walk down the street, oh, you're in the NFL, oh, my God. Why is it not like that in the UFC? Why do people look at me like, oh, you're a fighter? What's the... I think it is to a degree, though, don't you? Like, if you're walking around, people are really thankful. Like, if you're walking around the city and people see you, they're probably very thankful that you're here. And you're More so in person than, yeah, yeah, probably. More so than, like, a media perspective or a social media perspective. But there's only 600 of us, man. That's not a lot. That's really tough to get here. And every one of those guys... If they go 0 and 5, or if they go 5 and 0, they got my respect. I, I think, like, good job, you got it here. You made the sacrifices, you put in the time. Um, it's not an easy task. 600, that's not a lot, no? You, know, you acted like it's over. Think of it from, in the world perspective. What I'm comparing it to is pride with when there were 40 guys. And that's why when. Yeah, but there's only like 40 guys in my division. Yeah. You said, you know, like maybe 50? There's only 50 of us. That's nuts. It's hard to find a fight to get them to match up, right? You know, you'll have guys sit out, it takes like. It's tough. Yeah, it takes months. Yeah. You know, it takes months sometimes. You got to yeah, call somebody. Guys. 